Well, the cleaning process is done. And this, I'm leaving this on. I'm not going to split this case or pull that out. I'll mask that off. Um, I've got to fix this scar here. And that scar here. And that one down here. Some JB Weld. I will after I'm done cleaning this saw up. I'm going to take some aircraft stripper and some sandpaper and and uh, strip it down. I had to disassemble the complete starter. That's and then take off the uh, is there a pain in the butt? They have four little studs that hold this on. I've still got some polishing work to do on that. But um, this isn't what goobered up, so I'll be able to take this the paint off of this and make it look pretty good. Uh, stripping this by hand and sanding it takes a pretty good amount of time, but like I said before, I just don't like blasting. I, I got a sandblaster. I just don't like to do it. Uh, I, we, I could use some medium, uh, like a powder or whatever, or show holes whatever but just don't like to do it we've got all the parts and baggies uh, some of these still need to get cleaned up like the flywheel I've got the uh, caps the oil and gas caps vintage done well um, talking about that I did get the uh, the uh, vent in on the I chased those threads with an you know, 8 millimeter thread chaser and got the vent in there that that vent uh, uh, right there at that edge before it gets to, to the hex head on that that cap comes off you have to drive it out with a um, a pin from the end from the other end and that comes off in the and the uh, duckbill goes inside there I've got a saw I've got to find that I put one behind uh, there and didn't do it right but yeah I've got all the parts over here lined up and um, baggy after baggy and uh, but like I said now I'll just keep these on the bench and start uh, put a piece of big heavy duty paper and cardboard down and just start aircraft stripping it boy you have to use a pretty good mask with that aircraft stripper it's strong as hell but um, yeah I'll get this all stripped off and ready or you know I won't get every last inch but I'll get most of it and and then after that I can do the epoxy primer and then the, the epoxy finish and then the epoxy clear coat I like using a two-part epoxy on on everything I mean you got to start with the primer if it's not an epoxy that's what's holding everything else on so ah, there's a lot of parts a lot of parts I really wanted to do an XL 904 but there's no decals for it yet uh, or the 870 here no decals for it or the or the XL 701 AM but We'll just do this one next. We might have a couple of VI saws that we do after that. But uh, I think I'm going to get notifications on my uh, YouTube channel again. I don't know why I wasn't, but I contacted them several times. And uh, miraculously, I, I'm starting to get them again. Maybe they actually did something or I did something. I'm not sure. I guess that's it for now.